Why, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Games Done Quick. Tonight, we have the Hot Fix Grudge Match. I hope y'all are excited for s- settling some scores with some snazzy people. <laughs> My name is Lana Roos, and I will be your host as we cover for Brosentia, who is away on little vacation right now. Uh, so we have got some wonderful games stacked up for all of y'all tonight. But first, just a couple of announcements. First of all, Frame Fatales is Games Done Quick's all-women online speedrunning community. We have an upcoming event, Flame Fatales, which is running from August 13th to 20th. So the schedule is now out at gamesdonequick.com slash schedule. And while you're checking out the schedule, feel free to submit a prize for the event. That's coming up really short on the deadline, though. That ends on August 6th. But you can press exclamation mark FF in Twitch chat to submit your prizes. There's going to be tons of awesome stuff for the event, and we are very excited. And I'm totally not biased for the event myself. (laughs) But we are so excited to have all of you joining us tonight to settle some more grudges. A beautiful show where we place two people against each other who have very strong opinions about certain things and we award them points as they play through a game for the first time and the points just don't matter very much so let me introduce you to both of our runners for tonight first of all we have oj machine over here on our left hey oj how you doing hey hey, it's going good how about you great great thanks tell us a little bit about yourself all right well uh i i sometimes speed run it's not one of my main things but um I do that. I do some streaming here and there. And uh, generally, I just uh, have fun, play my ukulele, read a couple books. Nothing too, nothing too big. Amazing. That sounds like a very, a very nice, chill existence. <laughs> <laughs> well, it um, might not so... be chill after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, so next up on our right, our second competitor of the night is Ryan Ford. Hey, Ryan, how you doing? Not bad, not bad. How are you? Uh, great. Doing great. Excited to uh, see what the shenanigans are going to be tonight. Tell us a bit about yourself, too. <laughs> yeah, so I introduced some Ryan Ford, and um mostly known for... I've, I competed in Super Smash Bros. Melee for a long time, and uh, was around top 50 level for, like, uh, around a decade. So that, and a uh, bit newer to the speedrunning sphere, so... Uh, yeah, people are starting to find me through that. And, um, yeah, it's kind of most of what I do for like hobbies anyway. Awesome. So something that will come into play a little bit later, but we'll, we'll talk about it as we get started. Um, first, let me, let me tell you all about the game that we are playing today. If you don't recognize this, this is Pac-Land for the TG-16, came out in 1984. Uh, I'll just tell you a bit about the controls for anyone who doesn't know. Our competitors are going to be playing this game together for the first time, head-to-head, uh, with the controls which are jumping using the D-pad and moving with the buttons, which makes a load of sense. Um, so if y'all will get ready on our menu screen, I'm going to count y'all down right away. Um, just let me know when you're ready. Okay. I think I'm ready. <laughs> awesome. All I right. think so. <laughs> I'll count down from five to be spicy. Five. Oh, wait. One moment, actually. Four. Pause. Oh, no. Okay, okay, half. okay. Should be good. Should be good. <laughs> all, right, all right. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's we are a super excited to do this. <laughs> um, uh, oh, oh, okay. Immediately started holding the D pad to try. And run. Okay, that's 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 fun. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah. tell us a little bit about the controls that you're both dealing with right now as we get into the game. It is the exact opposite of what you would expect from a platformer. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, was that a good thing? Uh, I think that was a good thing. What the heck? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah so, but yeah, uh, I'll let oh, you say ahead, it. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I like, what, button, button, just to, oh, completed a level. Oh, okay, yeah, button wants to run, and then, uh, uh, forward, but do I think it's backwards? Oh, you can go backwards? Yeah. <laughs> I think oh. when you hit well, the good end of the level, it, like, oh, God. the other end of the level it makes you turn around, though. Um, and uh, 
That, that's my guess from what happened from when it started the first level. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amazing. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yeah, the D pad's to jump. You press any direction on D pad to jump, too. Yeah, it's. I keep trying to press like a button to go back, and I'm like, I, I, I keep like it's like no, it's just making me jump. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, so uh, also the the main point of this beautiful beautiful show called uh, the Hot Fix Grudge Match is that we bring on our two lovely folks who have an intense grudge against each other. Uh, um, uh -huh. So do you want to tell the chat a little bit about your specific grudge that we are oh, no. going to be settling through Packland today? All right, well, I think the best food that's ever been made is the noble mashed potato sandwich, a very versatile ingredient. I died. Um, Same here. <laughs> and I th I just, I don't know. Rob is a... Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Rob is a steak guy, and while I can appreciate enjoying steak, I just don't think it's favorite food potential. I'm sorry. Hot take. What oh do you gosh. think, Ryan? Yeah, so that's a pretty. That's got to be a hot take. Cause uh, I don't meat. I don't meat to stay it's good. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I, yeah I we mean, got a carb. This carb laden potato sandwich. I mean, I don't know uh, if you noticed my hair color, but it's very indicative of why I like potatoes so much. <laughs> um, fair. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea how to get across the water. <laughs> oh, um, I know we're, we're like, we, we don't like each other at the moment, but if you keep tapping the D-pad, <laughs> it makes you hop. Oh, what's that? And that should let you glide. That is weird. Okay. <laughs> I'll figure that out in a, in a bit. To the tip. Yeah. <laughs> should have kept it to yourself to... Oh, oh sorry. I, I, oh, no. <laughs> I... Oh, he's, oh, no, I'm going to lose. What a, what a nice guy. <laughs> My poor mashed potato sandwich. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give 20 points to OJ just for good good sportsmanship there. Um, we like to see it. But I'm going to take away five points because, oh, no. in my opinion, mashed potatoes are pretty subpar. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, that's, that's fair. We'll that one out. <laughs> but I'm not oh. here for the grudge. I'm not here for the grudge. I'm here to, to mediate like a... Right. Good mediator. Lana's well, a savage. <laughs> so this this probably feels a little out of your wheelhouse for typical games that you may be into. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the games that you both are actually into? <laughs> oh. Um, do you want to go first, Rob, so you can be sufficiently distracted and make up for my helpfulness? <laughs> um, let me think. Uh, what, what games do I run? Um, I guess I have a variety. Um, what's it like? Mm -hmm. What platformers? Uh, yeah, a lot of retro games. So like, whether the platformers like Lil Samson gimmick, which are uh, pretty obscure games for the NES, and um, and then yeah, I run like three different Metroid games as well, like two D Metroids. <laughs> Um, like oh. the G both, both GBA ones and Super Metroid, and then uh, yeah, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening, DX, and uh, Oracle of Seasons. Which, uh, if any of y'all have heard of Zelda Fun, then yeah, I ran those two Zelda games for that event. So, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've got at least someone in the call who's a a member of Zelda Thon, so <laughs> figured a shot. We do out. like Zelda Thon over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. No idea how to get through this. Uh, oh my god, no! Thing, so. Why is it so long? <laughs> it might be over. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. <laughs> uh, okay, um... So yeah, my, my favorite games, um... Mm -hmm. I, I'm really into, um... an RPG series known as Star Ocean. Uh, particularly Star Ocean 2, which um, is apparently getting a remake soon. I'm very hyped about. Oh, what's that? That was a bad thing. Okay. Oh, dang. <laughs> I um, think I game over like three or four times in this one spot. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, it, it's it's getting yeah, rough. 
Uh, but I think uh, it's over. oh no no oh. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm working on trying to speed run each of those games. It's just in the series, it's just um, yeah. It's very competitive already, so a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of practice. There's a lot of RNG involved with the crafting system and what have you. So it's coming along nicely. It's just not as it, it'll it'll happen eventually. Yep, yep. Yeah. Also, yeah, I almost forgot that. Yeah, I've also run like two R different RPG games as well. Like, I guess the oh, yeah. known one is Mario RPG, and then um. I also have a world record in this other really long game called Arcrise Fantasia. Which I just improved oh, the world right. record. Um, ooh, nice. Ooh, GG. I mean, it. um... <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo, Mr. Steak. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think the race is over at this point because uh, I was hoping there wouldn't be something kind of cryptic. But, mm. yeah, this... Like... Springboard, <laughs> the springboard with the water thing. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think OJ had mentioned like if you what was it? If you if you keep pressing up, you'll keep hovering over the water. Or, or uh, so, when you yeah. get the magic shoes, it's hitting the D pad. When you don't have the magic shoes, it's uh, hitting one or two. Like whichever oh, one is going in the direction you need to go to, um, and that will make you kind of like do a weird little hover run thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the controls are wild, chat. If you're just oh, they're so in. ridiculous. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> These frig boards. Uh... Yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just stuck at the first springboard. So. Yeah, just you just gonna you gotta mash out, you got I don't, you gotta mash that button two like mad. Oh, it's button two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to give 20 motivation points to Ryan here. <laughs> All right. I'll... Once again, the, the points are totally meaningful, I promise. <laughs> I know I'm getting jealous of all these points, but I have some myself, so that's fine. Someone who likes... To use the oh, turbo. you know what? Uh... Yeah, maybe if I turn on turbo, I'll be fine. Yeah, so no also, idea while, while we're uh, oh, yeah. going through this level here, um, Ryan, do you want to tell us we, we do need a bit of defense on on why steak is such a, a fabulous food, or rather also why mashed potato sandwiches may be less than savory, but I'm curious what your opinion is. Ooh. Oh, either less than savory. That's what yes, tell us more. <laughs> um, yeah, why? Uh... I had I had it as a tough kind of tough choice between like steak and chicken because uh, I think oh, chicken's more versatile for uh, cooking, but for just like sheer taste, I definitely do love love a good steak. No, um, I think it's very easy to like mess the mess up doing doing steak, but mm. um, what's it called? Uh, I think it's very easy to mess up doing steak, but when it's like done well, um, and depending on the cut of steak, uh, I don't know, it can taste vastly different depending like for like cheap steaks versus expensive steaks. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and depending on cool. what, you can have like, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, well, I guess for cheaper steaks, you might, might want to use like sauces or something, and then, uh, um, and then yeah, for like the really good expensive steaks, you know, uh, people like rare, medium rare, medium stuff like that. Like, it does make a difference depending on the cut. Um, yeah, I'm weird for <laughs> liking T-bone, but and like ribeye and stuff like that. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Also, just like meat is just so tasty. I mean, I mean, it, it, it. They, they do taste good. <laughs> I'm not gonna knock that. So I finally yeah, got through the also, uh, cryptic uh, part. I'm gonna give a bonus a bonus ten points to Ryan for getting that that uh, the hoverboard shenanigans completed. <laughs> oh, nice! Yeah, you you got was, you figured that, it out. You were finally. so determined there. We're giving bonus points for that one. 
Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I was hitting button one to float or button two. Uh, uh, depends on how my controls are. So. <laughs> Honestly, I just... I'm just pushing anything that makes me go in the where I want to go, because I can't understand this at all. <laughs> Fair. And this also actually puts Ryan at uh, 30 points for the 20 motivation points from before as well. Sweet. Just a minor correction there. So we have 15 for OJ, which totally matters, and 30 for Ryan, which also totally 15? matters, I promise. Uh, 15. I, I better get more motivated. <laughs> I'm sure I'll catch up in a bit. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I know you got this. You're you're a pro guy. The only only fifteen. No, I think. I mean, catch I'm up sure you've eaten plenty of steak to, to like give you good, you know, response and stuff. Gosh, I wish I had a steak. I had a steak today. <laughs> well, I had a mashed potato sandwich today too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was mashed potato with uh, chicken, and I mixed. Mix cheese in with it. Can I not continue anymore? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, oh, see, the, the thing that I think uh, a lot of people might not realize is that the mashed potato is merely the, an ingredient that helps be the star of the show. It's not necessarily just mashed potatoes on two pieces of bread. Um, you, it's, it's, it's like some people might use mayonnaise or um, some kind of sauce. Um, you know, it's like your lettuce, your tomatoes. It's just, it's just there to help accentuate the rest. It, it's, so it's such a versatile still... food. Like, you, you just do anything with a mashed potato sandwich. It's just amazing. Sorry, there's no meat in it as well. You can put meat in it if you want. I'm just saying it's not only meat. Like, I'm not taking like two ribeyes and then putting like a sirloin in the middle and being like, mm, boy, steak sandwich, you know, like I, I would, I would, do, I would do that rather than. Oh, I, I'm sure you would. I, your favorite food is steak, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I got to round so, what thirteen, I, and then I conked, and I'm back at the beginning. Oh goodness. I'm assuming. Are we? Um, are we? Continuing from our current trip, or are we starting from the beginning? Oh, Brozen! Yo, bro, welcome in to Grudge Match. <laughs> yeah, keep keep going, OJ. You're doing great. Keep going. Okay, I'll just keep, keep doing going. what yeah. I'm doing. I'll start from the beginning yeah. if I game over again. So, tell us a little bit again. So, so what what led to the discovery of the mashed potato sandwich? I'm really curious how this. Well, how this I'm started. happy you asked because um, <laughs> I'm it's curious, it's nothing honestly. fancy, but. Uh -huh. um, growing up, my mother did not enjoy the idea of me cooking. And so I had to find ways to um, basically feed myself. And after a regretful decision to put a pot of chicken noodle soup in the microwave, um, I decided I only wanted to eat cold things from now on. And so I had this phase where I just eat everything in the fridge. And so I started to experiment because dwindling food options. And so I was like, <laughs> I got potatoes. I got bread. Maybe that'll be good. And yeah, it was good. I mean, I lived on a farm, so the potatoes were very fresh out of the ground. So they didn't just taste like a straight up car pile, but it was it was pretty close. And, you know, kids, kids when a kid latches onto something, they, they latch onto it in a very big way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess I'm not really like, I don't really care for bread that much. Like, also probably why. <laughs> like, I do like, Sandwiches of some sort, but right. <laughs> uh, uh, my favorite bread would be rye bread, though. Like, I'm not big on white wonder breads, things like that. It's um, mm -hmm. they are I pretty boring. Sure. It's great if you have like a sandwich and you want some other food to be the star of the show, but like, yeah, I I don't think I could just straight up eat like white toast or anything like that. Okay, uh, so it's see. rye bread, mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. cheese, <laughs> and, and, and question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> yeah, and and just add the rest of the fridge as we go along. Yeah, yeah, you're just cleaning out your fridge. Like some people make casseroles, some people make parfaits. I make mashed potato <laughs> sandwiches. It's really good. Um, I I implore do... everyone watching to uh, give it a try one day. Okay, so we'll have a mashed potato sandwich making competition. Best mashed potato sandwich. Mm -hmm. Most liberties taken with it wins. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I regrettably ate the rest of my mashed potatoes, so... I will automatically forfeit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you have any potatoes, uh... Rob? Sorry, <laughs> Ryan? <laughs> yeah, I'm not related to Rob Ford, but... <laughs> it, it... Oh, that's unfortunate. Not 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 the name thing. It's just I I'm spawning in front of the springboard, so I can't oh. use it. I personally also like uh, all the ghosts on pogo sticks because that's probably the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Oh yeah, if a ghost well, came at sure. me in an airplane or on a pogo stick, it'd be <laughs> the end. So <laughs> yeah, like the UFO is making me go, oh no, they're from space. But the pogo stick is how. There hasn't been pogo sticks in like what thirty years? Uh, <laughs> oh how'd God. they get them? How can they use them? They're ghosts. <laughs> Listen, there were pogo sticks, but then there were also moon shoes, and I think those were the superior oh, product. I remember moon shoes. <laughs> um, I broke a pair that I had. Um, funnily enough, we were playing lawn darts, and also banned a game. Um, and yeah, I was running for some, uh, for a lawn dart, which you shouldn't do. And the reason why they were banned <laughs> and yeah, I, I tripped and I broke my moon shoe. Oh no. Oh, but no. I didn't, but I didn't get close to the, the lawn dart, which is the better part. <laughs> <laughs> moon shoes. Okay. So um, we do have some sympathy in chat for, for cold mashed potatoes as well. So some, some nice. people are kind of getting on, on OJ. So I'm going to give OJ a bonus 10 points for chat semi agreeing with him on cold mashed potatoes. My people have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now Ryan, uh, in, now that we've heard a little bit about the construction of a mashed potato sandwich, how would you construct your ideal steak? <laughs> construct <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. deconstruct I've heard deconstructing food is, is all the rage let's hear all about the gastronomy of your steak <laughs> oh gosh I think I think making a steak is pretty pretty simple right like mm -hmm. <laughs> like putting it on the grill and then uh, you know <laughs> like, yeah, I guess there's like seasoning before putting it on the grill or sometimes like after putting it on depending right but <laughs> And then for most of them, uh, I personally don't like them too bloody, so I do like, uh, for most, like, thicker cuts of steak, um, usually like the medium, generally, rather than medium rare. Yeah, I'm with you yeah. on that one. But no, I know medium rare is, like, generally considered the, the best doneness level, but... <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm definitely a medium yeah. guy. Like then, a full um, on medium? Okay. Stuff like, um... Uh, what is it? Like, sirloin burgers? Like, at... Places where they... <clears throat> might be able to do, like, different doneness levels. Then I'll do, uh... Medium well! For those, but... Uh, just cause they're... I guess cause they're smaller cuts, it's like... Uh, smaller cuts, and they're usually not from, like, a more expensive part of the steak. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so sort of, kind like, of medium to medium well is how we'll take it. Yeah, Gen generally medium for, like, you know, like, actual proper, like, like big cuts of steak and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, five holy, points holy, for just... the best steak <laughs> opinion. Because <laughs> I also agree it's medium. <laughs> Am I biased right, with my pull. points giving? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for the bias since, uh, well, it benefits me. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. Careful. Oh, I, I'm not a big steak person, but I'm not going to take points away for that one because I feel like that's too personal. I'll, I'll respect your grudge. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, like whenever I personally cook stuff, like, uh, admittedly, I, I don't really care too much for like uh, carb carb stuff though, like uh, yeah, like bread, noodles, rice, etc. So like, mm. usually I don't uh, add them to stuff unless it's like 
I don't know, there are, there are specific dishes. Like, I do make, like, um, what is it, curry goat and, like, uh, curry chicken. So. Ooh, curry's Ooh, good. Nice. But I've never done anything besides white rice with it, though, personally. So. Okay, wait. Potentially controversial opinion, though. What about okay. steak tartare? Steak tartare? Ooh. Yeah. Um, I would never make it, but I would certainly eat it if someone prepared it because I would have because I tr would trust them more than myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's I think that's where I sit as well I would be terrified to try to prepare it myself because food poisoning woohoo um yeah. but yeah. I don't know it, it's still kind of I, I think it freaks me out a tiny bit <laughs> yeah I don't think I'd be able to do it honestly I, I, I could probably eat it like yeah I don't think I'd ever make my own Yeah, sorry, we'll chat. Uh, we're making we're making all of you hungry tonight. <laughs> Welcome to Food Stream. For anyone that knows me, um, I I always find a way to bring food into the discussion. So apologies, um, but snacks are great, meals are great, food's amazing. <laughs> hey, food, food's one of the most like here conversation pieces. <laughs> yeah, shout out to food. <laughs> yeah, I, personally, I'm addicted to food. Like, if I didn't have food every day, I, I don't, I don't want to know where I'd be. Right? <laughs> no, like, I don't know where I'd be without food. <laughs> yeah, it completes me. Yeah, it's like, I feel like food and like music are usually like the two like really cute topics where mm. you know <laughs> most people like them in some in some way, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, bringing us back to the gameplay a little bit, tell tell us some of your uh, your first impressions about this game so far, and and how you feel about Packland for the TG16. <laughs> it's mean. <laughs> it's very <Yeah>. mean. <laughs> what what makes it mean in particular? <laughs> um, the fact that I constantly want to use the D-pad to move. Um, <laughs> you. It's not like a stark deceleration. It's like it slows down slowly. So when you see like a monster about to pogo you in the eye, <laughs> you can't just be like, "Oh no, I I, I got to go back." It's no, you anticipate the fact that you're going to lose an eye. <laughs> <laughs> you just accept your fate. Yeah, it's like weird got to slow down. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. you can slide? What the heck? I didn't even realize. You can slide? <laughs> yeah, you hold Am the, I going to uh, need that later? <laughs> If you hold one and two together, you like slide really fast compared to like walking. Oh, neat. Huh? I'll well, try I'll that. figure this out now. Yeah, I'll try that when I'm not running for my life to back to my family. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. I didn't make it. My family will never know I got magic shoes, I guess. Oh, no, maybe they will. <laughs> the magic shoes live. Yeah, let's go. Oh, got my Jordans on. <laughs> so yeah, catching chat geez. up again. Um, in this game, the way you jump is using the D-pad and moving is using the buttons, which if you have played any game ever, you know that that's sort of the reverse of what you would expect. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'd definitely call this game egregious. <laughs> I bet thing. if this game was in arcades, it would just be three big red buttons and the instructions would read, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like toss you to the fire. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, grab by the water pillar thing again. <laughs> oh god, these cars. Why are there so many cars? Is that water? Hmm? Oh, and also to jump higher, like, I think you have to be running, too. It's like... <laughs> yeah, it, and you also have to hold it. Oh, my God. There, it, there's so many, like, things you gotta do. Yep. I hope this game is, like, the most technical speedrun ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think right. that's a good question. Would you consider, after today, picking up this game as a speedrun? Well, future world record holder in the making, Ryan Ford. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to beat this out of spite. I, I, I think I'm gunning for your record already. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, no, absolutely not. I would... What the I would, heck like, is never this stage? Game again after today. 
for sure. <laughs> is this a bait? Oh my god, there's a reason to go backwards now. This is this is interesting. Holy moly. <laughs> oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just out of nowhere. It just was like, "Hey, you like you like mazes? <laughs> Here's a maze. Amazing, yeah, ain't like, it? A maze with like keys and stuff. Yeah, you got there too. Yeah. What was that right? You can. 14? Oh, don't tell me I clipped. Oh no, don't tell me I clipped. <laughs> Whoa, cheating! <gasps> oh no, I'm stuck. My goodness. <laughs> Cheating in my bed game. Oh, if I'm cheating, it's 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 for your benefit, not myself. You, I assure you. No, oh, don't tell uh, me that you're soft locked. That's a. Uh... I, I well, I'm not. Well, once once my Pac-Man dies of starvation, I'll be good to go. But oh my god, if you're actually stuck. Yeah, I'm actually stuck. <laughs> I I jumped one of those keyed barricades, and <laughs> now I'm in between them. Oh. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to running... award 10 points for stuck. <laughs> I... D discovering new tech. <laughs> yeah, I, I, if I'm, I'm nothing but a pioneer in the uh, Packland community. It There's sounds ghost. like we do have a world record holder of this game in chat. Um, how, how do you get out of that soft block? <laughs> Looks like we're safe now, but... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness! What a what a what a treat! Right, oh, yeah, oh, there oh. is a timer, so it, it it does help. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just gotta... I'm I, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> break time. Uh, the only thing that's about ready to break is uh is me really. Your sanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, let's go. Oh. No, oh, 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 so that's what those do. Good to know. Wait oh, until time's oh. up, that's how you get <laughs> Oh, my lord. Game over. <laughs> Please tell me I have more chances. Thank you. Yeah, this, uh... I'm kind of excited for whenever this hour is up, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not, you you're not having the time here. of your life right now? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, <laughs> gonna this to go back to bed after this. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, we'll I don't know. I might try so and like well. play a good game or something after to like. Ooh, you know, Procentia, you know, worked really hard to bring us this game. <laughs> and you Thanks, know what? It, it, I think it shows. Procentia <laughs> uh, is nothing but um, consistent in his Kuso. <laughs> Yeah, oh you know gosh. that bro will uh, award you only the finest in gaming history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely said uh, for game preference, I I put anything. So <laughs> same. That was <laughs> our mistake. My fault. You've met with a terrible fate. Yeah. <laughs> we seem to have a lot in common, despite our food. Uh, what yep. we like in food. <laughs> oh my gosh! There's so many enemies now. We're only oh. at the halfway oh, oh. mark, OJ. Don't don't settle the grudge yet. We cannot come to an accord. Oh, okay. There um, must be battle. <laughs> <laughs> um, Minus wow. five points for camaraderie. I know not I just... gave points before for camaraderie, <laughs> but now I'm taking them away. Uh, not just I'd... steak, but medium steak. Wow. <laughs> I know, right? So choosing like rare or something. Just when you think you know someone. <laughs> oh my gosh! I wait. What? I wanted to go back, but I jumped. Wait, so I can't hover anymore there. Sorry. Oh, please, please, yes. Uh oh, might be at another cryptic spot again. I like this. Okay, come on. So come so on, far, what would you say are are both of you finding to be the most challenging part of? Hackland, the beautiful game. Uh, <laughs> right now, <laughs> just <laughs> it's exactly just ex just experiencing for all its glory. Um, fighting the egregious controls as a whole is like yeah, the controls are constantly tripping me up because like I'll panic and I'll just default to what I should be doing, which is using the D-pad for D-pad stuff. 
and that's not happening. Nope. Also, they're starting to put enemy placements in areas where there's no way around them. You just have to wait it out somehow. <laughs> yeah. Pac-Man's sleeping. Sloppy. I don't like... Pac -Man is, that, is that Pinky? Is that, is that who's watching me? Yeah, oh. I was reading that I think... So the main four are typically... Okay, let's see here. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. But Wait, did you say Stinky? In, no, no, no. Blinky. Inky, Inky, Blinky, Pinky. Oh, I hope that was a good idea. <laughs> but in this game, they have replaced one of them for a purple ghost named Sue. Okay. So I forget which ghost has been uh, sacrificed. Let's see. No. You have to jump from there? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I wonder how many times have been game over. <laughs> how many times oh. have we both game over, actually? I wonder. Oh, I'm just surprised I got this far. Oh, my lord. Like, <laughs> 17. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it's good. <laughs> I'm on round 8 currently. All right. All right. Oh, I it's messed closed. up again. It's close. So okay. I'm assuming that the part you're about had to jump from there was like the springboard where there was yeah like really deep water and then the water was like way later oh god these stupid they... ufos can you please okay yeah, i think the check the checkpoint was like past the springboard after dying it was like oh is oh. it maybe i should just <laughs> dive in and pray <laughs> there's so many ghosts oh god there's just no way did you oh did you at least pass it yeah or, well, I got past 7, but yeah, 18 ah! is uh, <laughs> kind of whooping me now. Oh, break time. Ooh. So it sounds like I think springboards are one of our nemeses in this run so far. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I yes, seem yes, to definitely. not be able to, like, mash well when uh, <laughs> having to, like, hover across the water. Mm -hmm. Like, as if it's like... The turbo is three. not a sure thing, unfortunately. Hey, okay, we what, have what? Flannel Cat here defending the honor of Pac-Land. I would <laughs> award you points, but maybe I'll tell Bro to give you bonus points for your next grudge match. You know... <laughs> oh, what the heck? I, I trust Flannel I Cat. I trust... I trust them. I'll, I'll believe this is a good game. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, if you wanted a grudge, well, I guess we could <laughs> move on from the sandwich. Um, yeah. okay. <laughs> oh, I think using that key, like, just, like, had me stuck. What the heck? Oh, my God. Uh, what is this? Okay, so... Oh! Wow, that was oh a great God. jump. <laughs> they got some really cheese out of you. What is, stuff. what is my life right now? Okay. If there's, there's one good thing I will say about this game, and that's if you die... They'll put you just past the part that got you. That's very. Yeah, cool. I, I see you. I see you sneaking up, bud. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, at least you don't. I have did to, not like, see him. Start from the dropping spaghetti. <sighs> oh my gosh! What is this? No, no I use the key. Are you kidding me? Oh, please, <laughs> we'll continue. Stop moving, but then he just keeps sliding. I beg you. <laughs> okay. Good. So funny. We also definitely need a counter for for game overs. The, they're they're honorable, honorable game overs, mind you. Um, oh yeah. But yes. <laughs> I think we've had a few of those too. Oof. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I had like twenty at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I definitely died more times than I've lived through stages. All right, a one shot that level after the game over. Finally, was that? Jeez. Wait, was that? Was that flower a good thing? Flower? Uh oh, I don't know. I found a flower. It was growing under my feet, and I was like, I' oh. not gonna stand here and wait because there's too many ghosties. Oh, what the heck! Oh. Missing all the fruit. No. Do you, oh, is the fruit supposed to keep you full? Like, um, 
what's that game called? Uh, Adventure Evi Adventure Island. Uh, the dude who gets on a skateboard. Uh. Oh. At Adventure Island. I don't know. I've seen Adventure Island. I remember like a kid or something riding like sort of like animals or something. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Mm. Ah! What the? Wait, you can only slide to the right if you hold. Oh, hold that's rude. That is. I got sandwiched wow. between ghosts. We'll oh, give no. that a positive as well to Pac Man. That uh, Pac Man encourages you to eat your fruit. Good game. I'm gonna starve to death, I think. No! No, Ryan, please don't oh. go into the light. Never mind, I'm not even close, baby. My uh, thing was about to run out, but I reached the end of the level. At the time. Oh, gosh. It was close. It was so close. Holy. Wasn't even close. <laughs> what the heck? There's only one earlier. Now there's five? Get out of here. Are these cars are stacked. Uh, they're like double deckers or something. What the uh. heck? <laughs> Everyone in Pac-Land drives a bus, didn't you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. And the hydrants are also like... on top of each other now. Yeah, it seems the obstacles get gradually harder and harder as time goes on as well. <laughs> Wait, I used yeah, up my key like already. Planes like drop dropping stuff right on you. Like, this is crazy. Okay, least favorite obstacle so far that we've come across. Uh, what do y'all think? Um, still the, uh, the springboard or whatever they're called. Still the springboard. <laughs> I, I'm so I'm still salty. I got stuck for that long on the first one. Um, I want to say this whole like two ghosts um, blocking my path thing. Because like Wait, I'll just you... jump up and they'll be like. I'm running away from one ghost, and then another one comes in from the other side, and you're just like, oh, cool, now I can't do anything. <laughs> Surprise! Are you, are you in the uh, castle? Yeah. Still, okay, yeah. That, uh, yeah, I'm still in the castle. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like trash talking. I meant. Oh, I thought we were having a grudge, yeah. so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should should be trash talking, I guess. Whoops. Oh, I'm I'm oh those apples. Those would have been good. Oh, man. Holy wait, wait, wait. Long. Can I make it? Yes. The logs just don't say any fast enough. That just reminds oh, me of that gosh. raccoon PSA in Canada, where it's like, "Could I have a apple, Mama?" It's like at raccoons oh, yeah. can have apples. <laughs> yeah. I remember those. Oh my gosh! See, that's how uh, I know that you're uh, yeah. probably I'm around my age. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling better now. I was getting anxious, <laughs> but uh, I remember the PSAs. Oh my gosh. I remember seeing that stuff as, as a kid. <laughs> I know I'm going to binge them when this is over for sure now. <laughs> we all know the, the top one is the terrifying puppets that tell you um, uh, the, the Don't You Put It In Your Mouth song. Yep, oh, I was yes. going to mention that one too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> don't eat suspicious food. Yep. Oh yeah, we've got <laughs> we do have chat singing along. <laughs> oh yeah, they know the song. There was also Always, one about mice yeah. and, and cheese. Oh, yeah, the cheese one. one. It's, yeah. yeah, he's like, oh, look at this. And he's like, oh, no, we shouldn't touch that. We don't know. <laughs> yep, yep. Shout out to Holy. Canadian PSAs from the 90s. They. Oh, time out. Oh, I made it. Oh, I'm assuming you're in that, that one level. Yeah, like I got clutch. The... Trip six. Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Round 22 is impossible. Holy moly. <laughs> I love how they're just casually dropping their children from the rooftops. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, don't recommend that in real life, personally. Um. <laughs> Sometimes when I was dying, like a checkpoint yeah. would update like further than the part, the obstacle that I died to. <laughs> also was, like, I was oh, like, oh, maybe yeah. I'll beat the level, but I still didn't make it, mm. unfortunately. Everyone's dropping their kids. It's it's very concerning. Especially when they drop it from the window and they just got their hands up in the air like, oh, I don't know what happened. Oh my god. Could have happened to anyone. 
Anytime you have to start moving or stop moving is like actually absurd. Oh it's painful. Oh. So yeah, you just your momentum just carries like forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's oh, there's a good the point heck? that uh, people people are bringing up in chat are mm -hmm. the reputation for Canadians and poutine. So I think an ultimate question that'll help with the grudge is. Can you put your chosen food on poutine? I could put poutine in my chosen food. Okay. <laughs> I've definitely had <laughs> steak, steak poutine. Well, <laughs> you, all you got to do is mash up the fries and then boom, oh, mashed no. potatoes. True. It's so yeah. gross. Oh, no. I'm going to be speaking okay, at um, No Reset in uh, Montreal in about two weeks from now so Ooh. i'm going to get poutine out there for sure yeah. i know oh there's God. a steak Very poutine good. not that i'm trying no, to help no. you or anything baka oh my gosh <laughs> um, you say poutine like the french way good job i i i'm in a french community oh uh, makes sense because yeah like puts in yeah. and I was like, not oh, in quebec mashed. but plenty french nonetheless yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of like it's weird, like the T part, they do kind of like a TS. Like, I've heard some people call it Pau-Té, and I was oh, like, no. I've never heard know. that before. No. <laughs> you, that's interesting. Ah! <laughs> I speak French. I will speak for the French to say that is wrong. Negative points to whoever speaks like that. <laughs> um, I never said it like that. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, okay, for might... real though, or no? No, no, I don't yeah. say it like that, but I've heard someone say okay. it. Okay, well then plus five points for good pronunciation. Thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah, people are asking for clarification now, OJ. Uh, uh -huh. Mashed poutine sandwich. Mashed potato poutine sandwich. Yeah. Do you keep the gravy and cheese curds or... or, or oh, or sure. Mix them all in. Like? Mix them all in. Okay. Maybe put some more on top of it so that, you know, you have extra poutine style. Mm -hmm. You know, the like, sky's the limit. It's it's a sandwich. Like It's whatever you want <laughs> it to be. There's no wrong so answers. Of, yeah, okay, okay. So we can be very creative with the, with the, with the sandwich mm. making. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Heck, you could... You know, you can mash up the the, the fries so it's like a mm -hmm. mashed poutine and then put actual poutine on top so you got fries in there now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I, it's just, my braid is just, you know, it's just, it's in ecstasy right now just thinking of all the possibilities. It's, we oh. garnish it. We garnish it with. Oh my God. Finally I'm getting so level. distracted from it. <laughs> <laughs> can oh. you not tell all the new deaths I'm having? <laughs> Uh, we're hearing from Flannel Cat that you're both almost at the hard stages. Almost, almost. at the hard uh -oh. stages. <laughs> Not um, oh Egg Cloud Mountain. <laughs> Ooh, we're also being told, OJ, that mm -hmm. it sounds like your answer is just changing to be a sandwich. So you need to defend the mashed potato sandwich even it, okay, harder. Mashed potatoes is the key <laughs> ingredient. You need mashed okay. potatoes. It doesn't matter how you get the potatoes to be mashed. They still have to be a mashed what? potato in there somewhere. Whether that potato was pre-fried or not <laughs> doesn't matter. As long as it's just a, as long as there's mashed potato in there. Okay, so mashed potato is the key ingredient, and you had mentioned rye bread in the past, so you need bread. That's an essential ingredient. Yeah, yes, bread okay. and okay. potatoes. Okay, butter or no butter? Um, personally, I would prefer butter. Okay. Butter or margarine? <laughs> ooh, ooh, margarine. Ugh, oh, ugh. oh, okay, okay, okay. Never margarine. No, get that out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> my mother used to buy the five pound tubs of it. Never, uh -huh. never again. I used to dip Tostito chips in the margarine and it would burn really bad. Oh my um, God. So <laughs> that's how I knew it wasn't a good thing to eat. Ooh, ooh, Am I Ray saying too much about here. my life? I... <laughs> We need to know I fear all that came. <laughs> I fear I'm saying too much. Uh, butter on the bread or butter on the potatoes? Both. You can never have too much butter. Mm -hmm. And you can never have too many deaths in this game. Jeez. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, okay. 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 I can concentrate on this. I got this. Oh, my God. <sighs> Round 22. It's breaking me. 
Yeah, I think I we need to even the playing while, field too. here. Ryan, what are your thoughts on margarine? <laughs> on margarine? Yeah. I mean, I use it for some stuff. I also use it as like a cooking oil, I guess. Okay, so you don't dip Ooh. chips in margarine. Absolutely not. I don't do that um, anymore. Just, just check. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about dipping. Uh, when OJ mentioned uh, dipping uh, Tostitos, like, I've... Melted cheese, like, in the microwave on, on Tostitos. Mm -hmm. Usually, I, I prefer them warm, so, like, I might, like, use both. <laughs> like, might uh, either, like, melt cheese on top of the Tostitos or um, melt cheese on the salsa and then oh, yeah, the Tostitos. Okay, either okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I used to do that as a teen, qu teenager quite a bit. It's been a while since I've... Well, I'm I haven't really had, like, it's much like Lee as a whole, but yeah. yeah. I'm glad <laughs> if I ever come to your house, I can eat something that's not just steak. That that, that makes me feel good. Wow, I'm going to only <laughs> give you steak. <laughs> Convince no! You. <laughs> no! I'm going to go to No Frills 2 to buy, like, the uh, like, bottom blade, like, chief steaks. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> oh, and I bet you're going to fry it with margarine and... Ugh. Actually, yeah, I, those cheap steaks, I actually do that. It's pretty oh, like the fast fries? Yeah. <laughs> I can understand why to put more. some kind of oil in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah I use margarine or, um... I don't know, weird, like, possibly olive oil, but... You know, olive oil... Definitely, uh... You know, you can't, like, use that high of a temperature, anyway. Hmm. Otherwise, the oil will just burn, but yeah. Yeah, my main oil is um, sunflower oh. oil, because it's very neutral, Ooh. but kind of buttery. Ooh. It's cheap. Yep. yep. I'm a very cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> you, tell me, you tell me you've only spent a couple dollars, I, I'll be very proud. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with olive oil as well. I'm going to give 10 points to Ryan for olive oil support. Um, sorry to sunflower oil. I just, I'm biased towards olive oil myself. No, that, that's that's fair. I'm, yeah. I think olive oil is good <laughs> when you're making like brownies and stuff because it okay. complements the, um, the chocolate. But mm. I try to avoid olive oil in like other cooking things. It's mainly just for mm -hmm. baking for me. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but so looking like... looking at the game here, trying not to make chat too too hungry. Um, it looks mm. like we are stuck, mutually stuck. Uh, we we've got we've got OJ in round twenty two. Oh no! And Ryan in round twenty three. Ooh, I gotta pick up my A game. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How are we feeling about these particular <laughs> rounds, folks? Exasperated. <laughs> Exasperated. <laughs> Oh my is it God. the log Whatever. rolling? Is it the log rolling that's getting to you, OJ? Honestly, yeah. Between that and the clouds, because mm -hmm. like the, there's a gap there, but you got to jump just right, and the jumps are very particular about how you've gotten to that point. Mm -hmm. Like it, you dedicate yourself to whatever you did. God, that level is horrible. <laughs> Like, you can continue to accelerate, but you can't change course or decelerate once you jump. We're not even at the hard stuff yet. No. <laughs> no. But, good news, you both oh. have 10 minutes to make your final progress. Oh, so fantastic the final 10 news. Minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't have to sound so excited. Packland is a masterpiece. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, um, it's like the, the, Guitarma del Toro of video games. It's it's a masterpiece. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Make it sound more convincing, OJ, or I'm deducting um, more points. Oh, okay. Um so <laughs> it it's a journey. It's a journey mm -hmm. of a of a man trying to save fairies despite his family needing him. He he's he's doing something for the greater good. He's sacrificing so much. It's it's <laughs> no. just and trust Sorry. me, there's a lot to be sacrificed here. Um, it's heartwarming. So it's very I, heartwarming. Yeah, it's a heart. It's heartwarming. It's ah, huh, okay. It's waterfalls submerging you to your doom. It's uh, <laughs> it's a game over. Oh yeah, I, I'm convinced. I'll give it ten points. 
I'm glad I got to talk about that because it made me get to round 23. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, so really once soft. again, it is about who makes it the furthest. Even if you do um, die and go back to the start of the round by the end, if you have... Uh, if you make it to the next round, that, that's still a win there, so... Cool. We've got OJ in round 23 and Ryan in round 24. So oh, still no. tight, but we have under 10 minutes to go. Or well, about to be 25. But about to be 25. Well, I, I got I don't this. know if anyone in chat saw that that one enemy that dropped the little, the little guy from the plane and I like... I touched the Ooh. trigger of the end of the level as I ran into it, so I like it counted me like beating the level before I died. I was like, well, "That's lucky." The most not close, close thing ever. What is the stage? <laughs> oh, no, that's not the jump button. What Come is on. happening? Okay, 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 okay. Um, no, wait. Oh, okay, no. That this is the opposite of what I need to do. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, OJ had to pretend to compliment this game. <laughs> and not Oof. Me. That was yeah, definitely. as genuine <laughs> as I could make it. This game is definitely going in the trash bin when, <laughs> when our uh, <laughs> tennis minutes are up. <laughs> oh, boy. I might have to deduct points for that one, Ryan. I don't know. <laughs> now it's your turn. Convince me. You must all right, all right, convince right, me why right, you right. like this game. All yeah, right. Please so, tell us. As a lover of platformers, um, there's so few games where <laughs> you needed to float across uh, long stretches of water. And I love how um, the enemies are so perfectly placed so that like when you're jumping and landing, then they fly right into you with like no chance yeah. to stop yourself. It it's quite a challenge. And... <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh wow! Oh my gosh! If I dodged all that, that would have been amazing. I would have uh, actually. Oh 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 oh! Game. Get in the door. <laughs> oh, we both. Only... Okay. I'll I'll give it five points. I'll give it five points. Semi semi convincing. <laughs> we'll take it. My, my backhanded compliments about the game. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> oh yeah! Give me my magic shoes, please. <laughs> all right, let's go. People in chat are telling me you're not even at the hard part, so... Uh... There's so much... There's so much to learn. Yeah, there's, uh... <laughs> oh, wow! Was not expecting that. I got to the first hard level? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm... <laughs> Round 26, love it. Oh, you got... Oh, wow. Yeah, this game is a uh, game is tough. Uh, I just I just want to see my family again, please. <laughs> oh. uh, uh. That is, I gotta say, that hat is immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> it just perfectly complements his nose. The cowboy hat is pretty swag, though. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, oh my god, it's got that feather in there. This is a respectable chap, for sure. We do like his look. Very Don't fancy. I imagine Balenciaga would surely charge me $3,000 for that hat and boot combo. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, final five minutes just about of the race, so... Make as oh, much oh progress God. as you can in these final five minutes to settle the grudge between whether mashed potato sandwiches are the superior food or steak. Damn, I gotta do it for all the steak lovers out there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do it for, I guess, just myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a... Uh... <laughs> Where are my mashed potato uh, peeps at? <laughs> mashed potato sandwich. Let's clarify here. Mashed potato yeah, exactly. sandwich people. There we go. Yes, yes. <laughs> You could be cats, you could be dogs. If you know how to type in chat, go for it. That is so cheese. That jump? What is that? No, they, I can't wait. I'm right on... in front of like a jump where you like. Where is <laughs> you this have to jump? Move backwards and then move forward to jump to like reach. Oh boy. Okay. 26. Closing the gap. 
<laughs> it's tied right now. It's you are both in 26. So. <laughs> oh boy. That's actually pretty dope. Uh huh. <laughs> not not to sway either of you, obviously, but just to oh, no, light a little not. fire under your mashed potato sandwiches and steaks. Mm -hmm. Ah. Out of I, I will That's definitely not let this get to my head and immediately whiff. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, she put all the pressure on you. Every Only single pressure little. I could think of, yes. <laughs> How do I get up this part? Oh. Run. Run That's jump. mean. It's motivation. It's motivation. Oh. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a log rider. That's a good song from Canada. The Log Rider's Waltz? Uh, oh, I have no idea. Is it Log Rider? I thought it was... Lo lum the Lumberjacks. L lum oh, no. Oh, We're yeah. Oh, oh, are we going to Berenstain Bears this place? <laughs> uh, I think it's Log Rider, because he rides the oh, logs, and he dances with the lady in... The lady likes it because he, he goes whirly girly on blue water or something. Right? Or white water. Yes, because it's white. Yeah, yeah, right. Because there's rapids. Uh. <laughs> Low water. I, I gotta stop thinking about that right. dashing log rider. Okay. My sandwich depends We're on me. We're all fake Canadians. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think you're I think you're a boot okay. Uh, oh that hit me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it everything hits you. <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna end up landing behind me again like last time I, I got to that oh, part, gosh. but it landed directly or it landed oh. on like the back of me, but it mm -hmm. barely hit. Wow, that was great. <laughs> Oh, that All is right. go back. Insane. What the heck? Um, no, don't go that Final far back. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh. oh. <laughs> no. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then we might need to put this to a, a vote of who's of who's made it further. Oh, Dang, gosh. I thought I was about to I beast mode that we'll level of my last life, but <laughs> I forgot the oh, logs are break time. Fast. Let's go. Oh, I'm, nice. You oh. got through? No, no, I didn't get through. I wish. Oh, but, but I said break time. Whoops. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Alright, might have to just sacrifice lives to barrel through the, some of the egregious parts. That's a good strategy. I, w I think you should do that. <laughs> yeah. Leslie, uh, game over. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, once it came over, but an extra chance to get even further. You're right, you're right. Yeah. yeah I, I say go for it. Go for the game over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You might be surprised. Trying, trying to move a small amount. Like, oh, I did it again. <laughs> actually works. <laughs> Thank ever. Far was complaining about the springboards, but trying to, like, readjust your position by a tiny margin, it's like... Actually, I can see the hubris of um, teaching you how to use the springboards nipping me at my heels. <laughs> oh, those logs right. are gone. All right. <laughs> okay. And that's a wrap oh, on boy. our Packland race. <laughs> All right. Let me just pause that so I don't have to hear it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, pause. it's a good song, but it's been an hour of it. So let, let's get some quick final thoughts on uh, both of this for both of you first. Let, let me know what you thought of, of Packland in general. I think it's a little unfair, but once you get to the hang of it, it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. I've definitely played much harder platformers. I've definitely played much worse platformers. <laughs> so I think this awesome. is perfectly we'll fine for a curiosity moment. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> and Ryan, what are your thoughts on the game to wrap it up? <laughs> I was like Just... laughing to get ready to like talk talk smack about this game. But, oh my god, <laughs> this is awful. Jeez. <laughs>
Yeah, I might I might just like play something good like now before I, I go to bed just to <laughs> like, Don't wreck. don't worry. I am suppressing trauma. Uh I'm I, <laughs> I, I I'm talking a big game, but I'm scared inside. <laughs> All right. Oh uh so so here's some fun news for both of you. Okay. You have both made it to round 26. Uh-huh. You are both in the exact same spot if you Whoa. look at each other's screens. Pretty fantastic. Um, That's so funny. So we do have Ryan with a slightly higher score and it seems that he made it to round 26 first, but I may have to call this one a tie and tell Brosentia that both of you have to come back in the future um, for another sure. grudge match. Um, however, however, mm-hmm. we do have some stake supporters in here. So I think as, uh, the grudge will have to continue, but I think we are leaning towards team stake for this particular uh. grudge. However, we will need you to come back in the future to continue, continue dueling, uh, right. so to speak. I, I can't promise it'll be Packland. We might spare you next time, but, uh, oh, that's pretty much that. <laughs> I All will right, so to- perfect my craft. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, to, like to wrap up this uh, this segment, how about you both uh, let us know where to find you. Uh, final shout-outs. OJ, would you like to go first? Yeah, so um, you can find me on Twitch at 0JMachine. Um, uh, you can also find me on uh, YouTube, same address. Uh, Twitter is the letter O, though, but, but still OJ Machine. Awesome. And Ryan, where can we find you? Final shout-outs? Yeah. Um, yeah. All my socials are Ryan underscore Ford five two two. So yeah, Twitter, Twitch, or X or whatever, <laughs> and uh, and Instagram are all all the same. Awesome. So, yeah, on Twitter <laughs> you can find usually a variety of games. Uh, so I speed run a lot of stuff, and uh, I know sometimes I play some casual games here and there. I've been. Uh, I can vouch. I can vouch for somewhere. Ryan. <laughs> he's he's great. It. <laughs> They appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Well, Although uh, he doesn't have good taste in food. Damn. Oh, the grudge must continue. Oh, it's staying. <laughs> trust me. It's on the burner. It's frying up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make a steak well, right now. To- <laughs> yes, oh, we'll you would, steak. wouldn't you? <laughs> Thank you so much to you both for joining us on the GDQ Hotfix Grudge Match tonight. It's been a pleasure. Uh, big shout outs to you both. Chat, make sure to follow them both if you are not following them already. Quick announcement and reminders. Your subs, Prime Gaming subs, Gift subs, and Bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. So hey, please consider subscribing if you enjoy things like Grudge Match and our daily speedrunning content. So thanks so much for hanging out for this first match of the night, everyone. We are going to take a short break, and after this, we will be back with another Grudge Match between two veterans of the Grudge Match. So hold on tight, everyone. We're going to take a nice break, stretch, hydrate, whatever you need, and we'll catch you back right after this. Hello and welcome back, everybody, to the Hotfix Grudge Match. My name is Lana Roos, and I am your host in Brosentia's absence for this wonderful evening that we are having. If you were here for our last match, you would have seen that we were dueling it out between two foods, mashed potato sandwiches and steak. Uh, There was no definitive winner. Steak came out a little ahead, but we have told our runners that they need to come back because it was just too close But the party does not stop there. We have another grudge to settle between two seasoned participants of the grudge match. We'll introduce them very shortly. Just a quick reminder that if you have missed out on any of our hotfix shows or past events, just make sure to check out the VODs on youtube.com slash gamesdonequick. And if you're currently watching us on YouTube, make sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, go to twitch.tv slash gamesdonequick if you're interested in watching our live content every day of the week. It's going to be a phenomenal evening as we continue with our matches. We have a beautiful platformer game right that we will be getting both of them to play for the first time. But let's start by introducing our runners. Hey, Oz, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm Oz Morn. Um, I am so glad to be here. I've actually been 
meaning to play right for a really long time. I heard amazing things about it. And this grudge match just gives me an excuse to do that. Um, and so I'm so glad to be here with Cell. We're here because our last grudge match ended in a tie. And I, we, I can't let that stand, honestly. Like, <laughs> I need to win this, is what I'm saying. So that's my introduction. Okay. Awesome. Sal, so catch us up a bit about yourself as well and your, your history with Grudge Match. Yeah, so I'm uh, Sal, or Sal with my full name. Um, yeah, I also have been meaning to play right for a long time. I think the dev at one point may have actually offered me a key, but it slipped through my inbox uh, and I didn't see it until it was too late. Um, yeah, I've been meaning to play this game for a while too. And uh, yeah, Osborne and I have been on here once before. We've ended up in a tie. We failed to solve our grudge, so it is time to uh, <laughs> it is time to solve this grudge finally. So, for those who may have missed the last grudge, do you want to catch us up on what that grudge was between you two the first time? Yeah, sure. So, yeah. Uh, we uh, learned a game called TriFox together. TriFox, beautiful, Ooh, yes, three D platformer, very inspired by like your uh, oh. Name's Waking Bra Crash Bandicoot. That's how you say that name. Those things. Such a good game. But we also discovered, after racing it a couple of times, that uh, one, Oz beats me all the time. But two, we also want to murder each other when we race each other. It makes us hate each other. So we need some arbitration for our relationship because he keeps beating me and we just get angry with each other. So. Mm -hmm. true. Well, you're, you're in the right place then. Yeah, <laughs> are, are you both ready? Played... Are you. Oh, sorry. Last time we played, I was going to say last time we played with In a Deep Forest, which is a great game. Um, and it was like a Metroidvania style game, another 2D okay. uh, platformer kind of thing like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm super excited to, to do my toes into another game that is, I'm hoping to be really, really cool. I'm sure it's amazing. I've heard great things awesome. about right. <laughs> I am super excited for this game myself as well. Um, so are you both feeling ready to start our next match of the evening? Mm -hmm. I, I sure am. Okay. All right. I'll count you down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's grudge match. <laughs> All, right. All right. I would say good luck, but I feel like that defeats the purpose of why we're here. Um, yeah. Only only right. trash talk is allowed here, Wait, actually. We're not oh nice God. people. Oh, okay. That's how you do that. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay, so I love the So before coming into this game, uh, tell us a little bit about what you know about this game oh. in general, just coming into it. Uh, it's a precision platformer. That's about all I know. Um... Oh no, I missed the key! Yeah, so for me, I know this is a precision platformer. I um, know it was shown off at AGDQ 2022, and the only reason that I know that is because I also participated in that GDQ. Um, and so I am super excited to see what this game has to offer because I've heard great things about it. I think this part. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the coins are things I'm supposed to be collecting or not, but I'm going to trust yeah, that either. they aren't. Um, oh, okay. But aside from that, I saw like cover art of the game, and that's pretty much it. I honestly thought that this was like a 3D head game at some point, and I was dead wrong. Um, and so... I'm, I'm actually already loving this so much. So Have I really gone this like, far in life without playing this? It's, much, like, it's, <laughs> it's great. It looks phenomenal. So is that is it kind of your typical type of game that you go for, Oz? Or, or what, what's your background in, in games or your preference in games? So when it, when it comes to like casual games, I'm a fan of most anything. Um, but when it comes to like speed runs and stuff, I usually um, play first person games, puzzle platformers. Have you ever seen any run that I've ever done on GDQ ever? Um, it's just a first person puzzle platform because that's my bread and butter when it comes to um, speed runs. So I absolutely love those types of games, but I like to branch out here now and again. I've been meaning to branch out both casually and in just speed runs in general. Are these things I can go down? No, they're not. Oh, I have to go all the way back up. Okay, I see. That's what the thing is for. And, you know, I was a big fan of Celeste. I know that Brosentia originally uh, suggested Celeste for mm -hmm. the uh, Gretsch Rats, but unfortunately, I played Celeste in its entirety, including all seasides and farewell. 
So and I have that not, would be so... an incredibly unfair match. <laughs> uh, okay. I wonder. So, Sal, tell us a little bit about about your history with games as well. What what are some of the games you're into, or genres, or or what, what's your experience with games in general? Yeah. So. My experience is primarily with indie games. I haven't played much outside of that. Um, I like, I don't know, I, I have a very right, variety of taste. Oh, and I see those deadly spikes. Ah! Um, a lot of like roguelikes, oh, oh. things that make me do math apparently. I love speed running those for some reason. Um, I, I hate doing math, but you know. Apparently, I like speedrunning like Dicey Dungeons. Um, oh. <laughs> but yeah, lots of assorted indie uh, platformers sometimes. Puzzle games are great. Also, love a good story-based game. I don't know. I am I do just put everything. And then most of the stuff I, I speedrun, I'm like one of the only people who speedrun most of my games. So I do love myself a game with a good story. One of my favorite in indie games of all time, probably my favorite indie game of all time, is a game called Spirit Fair. It's such a oh, beautiful yes. game. It's the only game that's ever made me cry, and yep. I absolutely love it to death. <laughs> I'm uh, Oz. I'm going to give you ten points just no. for mentioning Spirit Fair because I I tell everybody about Spirit Fair, so so bonus points just for that. Everyone, it's if you haven't played, game, it, go it? play it immediately. I I sobbed probably four or five times. Full Ooh, on, okay. beautiful game. Oh, I man, have definitely goodness. cried playing Spirit Fair. Oh, is this so. the first room that's gonna? Oh, this is the first room that's gonna screw me up. Okay, oh, I'm no. gonna die several times on. Ooh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Are the coins important? I mean, I don't think anyone in this chat knows, but like, I think I would like to know if they're important. Like, I don't like. I, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that they're not. That I don't <laughs> need them. It might be like the like the game, uh, oh, no. or, or like grudge match in general, where where the points do they do they matter? Do they not matter? It's it's very subjective. <laughs> yes, um, I'm assuming like they count towards a hundred percent of some kind, but I don't know like if that if they are required for progression. As much as I do love several games, I don't like it when games use collectibles as a method of like forced progression um mm -hmm. i am not the biggest fan of that sometimes it does it well if you like if you as a player are already naturally going to collect that amount of collectibles anyway but if you have to go out of my way to like do more than what i did naturally in order to progress in the game i think that that's kind of cheese that, that's kind of like cheap in my opinion so what what I'm seeing here uh, on a quick search says that all co collecting all the coins in the game will unlock a series of 32 challenging levels, which will also increase your playtime by a large amount. All right, so... I'm gonna start this match over. I'm gonna collect all. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to restart if you want. I will uh, keep going. Oh, uh, okay. I, at the very least, I know for a f I know I like within the first like two seconds of this match, I knew already that I'm gonna be picking this game up again and probably completing it full completion this i love i'm so surprised no. that i've never played this before it feels so great <laughs> also, I, i've got to say this is a, a pleasant uh change from how our our runners felt about packland previously <laughs> we we had a difficult time convincing them of the masterpiece of of packland but um maybe now we'll we'll see a true a true love for the game tonight <laughs> yes this is great also, fun fact, if anyone has uh, either the bundle for racial justice on Pitch or the one for Ukraine, this game is in that bundle, or is in both those bundles, which is uh, oh, really? where Oz and I got it. Yeah. Is it in both? Oh, no, maybe it's just in the one for Ukraine. Maybe I'm thinking yeah. of the other game I post. But anyways, check your itch bundles, folks. There's some absolute amazing games in there. I'm pretty sure I have three copies of Celeste. Um, one on the Switch, one from the Ukraine bundle, and then one from uh, just on Steam. Uh, I have, I don't I know have why two I copies of Steam. Celeste on itch. Uh, and uh, my friend who's a brother of one of the developers said to uh, not bother buying it on Steam. As his brother says, they would far rather see other indie games get supported. So yeah. they would love to see the, the love shared, although they love their community. Oh, I love this room. Oh, wow. Okay. What? Oh. Oh, what? Uh. uh. 
Also, Oz, okay. I have a question for you. Do you have yeah? two jump buttons? I do not. I okay, have I have I have two jump buttons. <laughs> it's really confusing me. <laughs> oh, okay. This is what? What? Do I just go? Like, I feel like I should just go. Okay, I am supposed to just go. Okay. <laughs> I was just, I was overthinking it. I was, okay. Oh, I'm in wall two now. Oh, you are far ahead of me then, sir. Why is there a spinning death blade? That's no good. I like that that seems to be a theme of some of the obstacles are just large blades swinging very quickly near your head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, I, ah, okay. Dang. One thing I love so, about games like this is just like if failing does not feel frustrating. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Oh, my God. It's like there's still progression and there's still learning that comes with failing repeatedly, exactly. even if it does get a bit frustrating. <laughs> Exactly. I guess that's why Celeste is so popular and why this game is so great to me right now. Mm-hmm. Oh. So we know that um, the, the the grudge in general is against uh, awe as being good at games, it sounds like, as well. Sal, I know you're, you're equally amazing at games. I've been around for many of your speed runs, and you're a phenomenal runner as well. Thank you. Um, so we, we need to go go back in time to figure out why why Oz in particular is, is so good at games. Oz, tell us about uh, what got you into games in general, if you can remember that far back. Um, <laughs> back to your childhood. Uh, what back got you into childhood. games and then speed running later on? Uh, I mean, my parents always, like, they had bought me, like, a GameCube and, uh, and the Wii. Um, when I was very young, which I understand for the people in this call is just like, what do you mean? Like, that, uh, I feel like like the people in this call probably grew up with older consoles than that, but I grew up with the GameCube and me because I'm a child. Um, <laughs> Oz is a literal as, child. I'm 20 years old. I was born in 2003. <laughs> so I grew oh up with the GameCube gosh, and yeah. me. Um, <laughs> so, and my favorite game, like even growing up was Super Mario Sunshine. Um, and so ever since, like, I've always just, like, grown up with a really huge love for video games. Um, and so I, I love games as, like, just a form of pastime. I hold games up to, like, a huge, um, like, I hold games up to, like, a huge, uh, pedestal more than, more than most people, I'd say. Uh, because I feel like games in general are such, like, an incredibly underrated, like, art medium. Mm -hmm. Um... And I absolutely love just seeing, just seeing like the things that indie developers come up with in games because uh, there's so much amazing stuff out there, um, as we're seeing here today, that I that you could like dig, sink your teeth into. So that's like my experience with games. I've been playing games since I could remember. You know. Yeah, kind of like a core part of your life from the beginning. It sounds like. Yes, exactly. And then oh, what was that jump like? Thing. <laughs> um, what was what was kind of the jump into speedrunning for you? Like, when did that sort of hit you? When did you get the bug for speedrunning? So for speedrunning specifically, um, one day I played through Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Switch all in one sitting. And I wasn't trying to go fast, but I did it in like nine hours. I 100% of the game in like nine hours. Oh um, and then I was just like, I could do that again, but faster. And so I did it again. And I cut around like, and I progressively just um, did that more and more. Um, and I did like an any percent run of the game. It's still on my SRC page, as a matter of fact. You can go like see it right now if you want to. Um, it's like a really bad time um, on the modern patch. It's like three hours and something minutes, um, even though like the ward record is like an hour behind that. But it was just so long of a run from like a beginner. Um, from like a beginner uh, perspective that I couldn't really keep up with it. And so I was just like, well, you know, maybe speedrunning isn't for me. And then I was like watching AGDQ 2021 
Um, and I saw a guy named Bobby Berm speed run a game called Light Matter, which some of you may have seen me run before. Um, and within three days, I, I, I could not tell you why I wanted to speedrun that game, but within like three days, I downloaded the game, I played it casually three times, and then I immediately got into speedrunning it that same week uh, as Aww. GDQ was going on. That's awesome. And so, Sal, how about you? Tell us, yeah, tell us about your journey through through game, Sal. Sure, yeah. So I didn't have any consoles growing up. I had some like computer games, mostly educational, you know, Jumpstart, all that good stuff. Heck yeah. Um, <laughs> and oh, cereal box games too, if anyone remembers those, where the discs would come with your cereal. Those were always fun. Mm -hmm. um, but wasn't really much into gaming until, oh, sorry, I'm trying to avoid a spinny play to death. There we go. Um, got into university and I started university in 2012, which was sort of like the height of Yogg's cast, right? And so I discovered YouTube at the same time. And I spent a lot of time watching, you know, Minecraft and other things. In fact, one of the series I watched the most was Cook Serve Delicious. Full playthrough Ooh, of that, nice. which was great. So I sort of discovered indie games. And then finished university and uh, started dating someone. And he actually introduced me to GDQ. Um, so the first exposure I had to like Twitch and speedrunning and really in many ways gaming outside of Minecraft was speedrunning. Um, fell in love with it on site. Uh, just speedrunning is so much fun. I don't Ooh. know why you would not speedrun. Uh, and that started out trying to be a Stardew Valley speedrunner back when the community was still tiny. Didn't see to that too well, and then I discovered Dice Dungeons, and then from there, moved on to other, ooh, smaller indie games. Nice, awesome, and that's been kind of like your niche for the last little bit, hey, is those, like, the indie games in particular. Oh, I've been pretty ah. much 100% indie games, in part because <laughs> when I started streaming, I had a 2012 MacBook Pro. Let me tell you, playing games on that's hard enough, much Whoa. less streaming them. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, I, I had a setup that was held together with almost literal duct tape. Uh-huh. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? I made it work. Uh, my first stream had no game audio because turns out OBS on MacBooks that old required a special plugin. Also, oh, where's oh? I have to go all the way back. Oh goodness, um, required a special plugin to uh, have game audio, which was you know fun times. Amazing. There's still clips of that stream on my channel of me doing okay. my alert sound effects. It's it's great. <laughs> So uh, I'm actually going to award 15 points for mention of Jumpstart games, um, Ooh, only yes. because I have fondness in my heart for those as well. Between that and Reader Rabbit, I believe. Um, oh, I never those, played those any were... Reader Rabbits, but like, yeah, <laughs> Jumpstart. I am. I've seen some of them. I'm like, I'm so tempted to try and learn a speed run for them because they're so nostalgic. Uh -huh. Oh wait, what? Okay, hold on. Oz looks like he's coming up against uh, some axes here. How do you feel about the, these axes so far, Oz? Oh my god. I, I Wait, I'm so focused on the game. Could you repeat the question? I did not hear <laughs> you the first time. That's good. That's it's, it's about the game. Um, how, how do you feel about all these axes <laughs> as an obstacle? As an obstacle? I mean, they're good obstacles. Uh -huh. I do enjoy how, like, only the blade is actually the part that kills you and not the chain. Um, I have because, and I do like how they're incorporating that into like a lot of the, uh, into like a lot of the puzzles mm -hmm. that you see, a lot of the rooms that you see, where you have to go over the blade instead of underneath it or just avoiding it entirely. Um, I do think that's really clever. Um, I think they're frustrating. This one in particular is weird to me. Oh. <gasps> okay. I've made a discovery. What might that be? Something really obvious, but I've made a discovery and I am pleased. Oh, okay. Oh, Treasure Mountain, that's the other game. Treasure yes. Mountain. Oh my goodness. I did you know that okay, I have discovered ways to play it and there is an SRC page for it. I genuinely want to sit down and learn it and submit it to some stuff because it's so good. It's a very good game. For for any of you that don't remember, it's it's quite an old game, but you you climb a mountain and you get 
hints <laughs> from these elves by solving puzzles, and it's things like three square mushrooms or whatnot. And then you get mm -hmm. keys and you climb up like these waterfalls and everything. And then you steal a treasure from this scary king, go down the slide and do it all over again. And it is so addictive. It's such a good game. Okay, just, such a, okay. just such an angry, grumpy king too. He's unnecessarily grumpy. <laughs> He's a very grumpy king. But also the treasures you get, like the, oh, there's just oh, so many okay, so what? cute little collectibles in that game. Mm -hmm. Hey. Ooh, uh, I don't trust myself to do a good. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. I was so scared <laughs> nice. I was gonna fail that. Good one. My God. Uh, so, Oz, you're you're in world two at this point. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm. I am. How are you finding all of the like the controls and just the gameplay in general? What are your first impressions of this so far? My first impressions of this game is why have I waited this long to play it? It's so good. <laughs> it's actually really good. I'm loving this game a lot right now. Oh my god. Um, I think the controls are beautiful. They're really simple. It's literally just like like run, jump, and then wall jump. But, but it's like they're just they're using it in such a great way. I mean, the same way that like I mean, I don't want to compare this game so much to Celeste, but that's pretty much the only other like pro really popular precision platformer that I've like really stuck my teeth into. Um, where like the the uh, the controls are really just like dashing and jumping, but like you use them in so many different ways, and mm -hmm. the game incorporates them into a lot of different different rooms and different puzzles and stuff. So I think this game is doing an amazing job, and just the movement is very fluid for it, especially for it being a 2D platformer. Mm -hmm. How about you, Sal? How are you finding it? We're still in, I think, World 1 over I'm, there, getting close. Oh, halfway through World 1, I think? Nice, nice. It is, yeah, the, the movement is lovely. Uh, it is slightly frustrating having a controller that apparently... Yeah, I have two jump buttons, uh, so that's <laughs> fun. Um, that's not supposed to happen, but apparently my controller and this game don't agree with each other. Um, but otherwise, yeah, the movement's lovely. The soundtrack's great. I'm enjoying the puzzles of the, mm. I guess, I don't know if you could call them puzzles, but the, the way the platforms are laid out is really interesting. And it's definitely been it's, on my list to check out. I mean, here's the thing. As a person who is very much into puzzle games, as Alana very, very much knows, um, um, <laughs> I, I, for one, uh, I don't necessarily consider precision platforms a puzzle game, mainly because there's ne like there's not necessarily a puzzle. Although I do think there is kind of a puzzle in that you need to figure out what it is like. You just need to figure out where when you need to start moving and like the exact movements you need to do. But like there's not like there's not anything to like solve per se. It's just like uh, trial and error, see what works and what doesn't, kind of thing. If that makes any sense. Kind of like finding the proper cycle, almost, right? Yeah, like exactly. I, I love games like, I know I always compare, this is different, but like Dark Souls and stuff too, where you have like predictable movement that over time, it's sort of like you're learning the more you play, where it's like trial and error, trial and error, and then when you find the path or the way to do things, it's just so satisfying. Right? <laughs> uh, Oz? Yeah? I think I've broken the game. How do you mean? I can't oh. stand on this platform. Oh no. Oh, could you, did you restart the level? Ah. Let's that see what happens if I die. <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's see on. if I can crash to main menu. Nope. That is very. We might be so having. It's... We might be having oh, an emergency crash the game because I can't get to menu. I. You're standing on the platform now on the oh, end. Though. Yeah. Okay. Weird. You're good. How did that? Okay. Okay. Game. I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say. Like, should I pause? Question mark. We're good, we're good. Okay, we're good. And I went straight yeah, through the platform again. Okay, this is very strange. Where is... He this is classic greatest? me, though. Anyone who knows me knows that I uh, basically break games for a living. It makes me a great playtester. I was going to say, this probably makes you an excellent speedrunner as well. Um, because I, I don't like glitched is... categories. I don't oh, like no. running glitched <laughs> categories or like anything without a bounce. I far prefer glitch lists. Interesting. Okay. 
Uh, like no major glitches at absolute most. That's super cool. It's it's it is really interesting to see just the different ways you can exploit games either with glitches or just like really good pathing or routing um, without glitches. It's it's really cool to see the variety of runs you can get going too. Oh come on. I mistimed that jump. So chat oh, does I ask Cell, just for future there reference as well. There is no way well. to jump down through platforms, at least not oh, that I can find. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, cool. not that I see. I, I tried that too, because I'm so used to like, it's like you just hold down and then the jump button essentially, and it goes underneath the platform. Um, but unfortunately, that's not a mechanic here in this one. Ooh, okay. That was... Oh my god, is this... Inconsistent. Okay, there we go. We believe... <laughs> I see, I see. I see the advice ten... in chat, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give 10 motivation points to Cell. I've been giving out motivation points today. Ooh, um, so oh. 10 bonus points for Cell for increased motivation. Does chat get points? Can chat get motivation uh, points? I mean, yeah, they're they're helping us with motivation. Yeah, right? you know what? Five five points to chat for motivation. I don't know yes, where that good goes, chat. but 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 good job, chat. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> we love a friendly chat around here. Ah. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, figuring out uh, good like or or the best controls or the best way to do things is always is always part of the fun. I feel too. <laughs> part oh, of maybe I think fun someone in, solved the problem. Marks, but... Oh, hold the button to Ooh, jump higher. Nope. Seems to work. Maybe. Okay, that's looking good. Oh. That looked great. <laughs> that looked really good. <laughs> I still feel like I'm phasing through platforms I shouldn't be, but you know what? We'll we can make this work. Five points times one thousand two hundred and sixty-five people is oh good. Thanks for the math. Thanks, Ray. I don't do math. I'm oh, so bad. Oh, thank you, at math. thank you, Ray. I was gonna try and do that super fast in my head. <laughs> you know, as someone who speedruns games where I have to do math to make sure I can <laughs> kill an enemy before I die. Oh, Every time I host, okay. I, I end up having to do math. Um, and I always do poorly. <laughs> it's not my fault. I, ex I expect it to be more entertaining when it comes to my commentary today, but I'm just so focused on this game. My goodness, this is actually... I'm having so much more fun with this than I initially anticipated. I mean, Good. I knew that was going to have fun, but not this much. <laughs> are, you, are you liking it more than you might have uh, with Brasencia's very unique suggestion? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, interesting. I, told, I, mean, I am curious I to try him, it like, next anything. time. I did tell him like anything. I did tell him I was down to down to do that. This is true. Anything. You did say anything, and I was like, "Here's my list of restrictions." <laughs> well, yeah, we were talking with the previous runners about how they also said anything and got Packland, and uh, we we said it. It sort of uh, it brought it brought their fate upon them, I guess. <laughs> if you say anything, Procentia will give you anything. And uh, that's part of the fun of Grudge Match. Oh, oh my god, I hate this room because I have what? to go all the way back at the end, too. Um... <gasps> no, come on, you know what to do. Come on, you know what to do. Whoa! I succeeded, I did not die. Yay! All right. <laughs> I like how that axe swings, that's so cool. Right? Like the it's way it spins at the end? The way it swings and it goes sideways at one point? Yeah. That's so cool. I don't care for seeing it swing past my head, but you know, I do like the sound <laughs> it makes. It's a good design. It is a good sound. Ooh. Yeah, games yeah, good I really like that. Great. It's kind of part of the challenge of this game, I see, is it's like you, you have to go all the way to the end of a room just to get the unlock. Oh. And then you got to do it all the way backwards again. <laughs> okay, I'm at world three. Let's go. Hey, nice. 
Oh. Where are you at, Cell, right now? I am on, like, the third level with axes. Third level with axes? Are you on world two? Uh, I'm sure. I think Did this the colors is for world change? one, just because world two no, the colors has not a changed. red background. The no. colors will very clearly change when you, mm. when you when you move from one world to another. I think right. you're very close, though, Cell. Do I have to jump over it? Oh, ow. That was too close. I got an unintentional haircut. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh, the snake game on the old Nokia. That Oh, that brings back memories. Wow, that took me a minute to realize because reading that chat at first, I just went to Metal Gear and I was like, I didn't know they put out Metal Gear on the Nokia. And then I realized I'm way too tired, apparently. Um, yeah, yes, and I'm, the snake I'm, game. I personally, it's not that I'm tired. I'm just too young to get all these references, I feel. Um, <laughs> so These are before my time. Let's give a uh, five sympathy points to Oz for being <laughs> Oz, Oz. Oz gets points for being too young. Oh, wait, well, it's, it's to even the playing field. D to yeah, that that Oz probably hasn't played Snake on a Nokia, but that's okay. I haven't either, I have and I'm much older than Oz. The only Snake I, that I played was Google Snake. I didn't even Google realize Snake. for years when I was playing it that it was a, a cell phone. I'm just like, oh, this is a funny looking. Thing, but okay, Dad. Yeah, sure. I'll sit and play a game for a few <laughs> minutes. Keep me quiet. Absolute bricks. Those Nokia phones. Indestructible. Oh. Oh, uh, come on. You did it the first time. Why didn't Apparently, you do it the Apparently, I'm also getting word that Metal Gear Solid on a mobile device exists. Like on a mobile oh, phone. Oh, I, yeah. I, I would not doubt that. You know? <laughs> That's amazing. I don't think it's that great of a game. I, I don't think it would be that great of a game, but I don't doubt that it exists. Is chat allowed to help? I'll say pause on the assistance un unless it's requested. If a hint is requested, sure. If it's not requested, nah. Here's the thing, I, when it comes to, like, assistance about this game, like, I mean, I'm not reading chat, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, so, but, like, <laughs> when it comes to assistance about these kinds of games, it's not even that, like, you don't know what to do. It's like, you do know what to do the majority of the time. You just have to execute it well. And uh -huh. executing is, unfortunately, the hardest part. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, agree. As a heads up for our runners, we are just about at that halfway mark now. So halfway through I, our our grudge match, how are we feeling towards each other, you two? How is the grudge each simmering? Each other? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be real. I've been so focused on this game that I haven't even <laughs> thought about the grudge at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's working for him. It's not working for me. I'm like, I suggested this game, and I am mildly frustrated with my own suggestion. <laughs> So I'm, I, what I'm hearing is is Oz's Oz's heart is softening towards the Grudge, and Cell is just getting even more fired up about the Grudge. Yes, I'm having yeah. the time of my life. I'm right also now. I'm also um, recalling uh, challenges the last time we played a co-op game together because we're also learning the We Were Here series together. Yes. Uh, to to run together, and Osborne in our casual playthrough is literally literally exploring every nook and cranny and I just want to get through the game casually so we can start learning the speed run. No, I need to <laughs> enjoy my games. I want to like I want to like actually, you know, have a casual experience with it and just go at my own pace, you know, try and See, try and I don't do casual experiences. I don't do casual experiences. I get straight into running the game. Nah, I got to like only I've only done that on very rare occasion, but I do enjoy like a, a solid casual experience first before going into the game that I speak on, you know? I wanna, I, I wanna like, I think I'm sensing a enjoy. new grudge. I think we've, I think our second grudge has actually come out between you two. This is, this is a, this is a, a deep revelation, I think. You're right. The grudge I is that know. I like to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanna that. learn the speed run so I can submit it to events because there's so many events out there that need more runs submitted to them. Ooh, I don't know <laughs> what's, the thing I'm supposed to be doing in this room is, um, how am I meant? Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, kind okay. of. 
I was just like, do I have time to jump over that? Okay. At least one thing stays consistent between levels here is that no matter what room you enter, there will be a scary spinning blade coming for you. Yes. It's comforting. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting hypnoti hypnotized by these axes. You know, they're kind of calming, actually. <laughs> they are, except they're also really frustrating because I just want the key. Yeah, right? yeah, I can see that. Please, 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 game, please, 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 please. Just let me get in here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Nice. Is there a death counter? I do want to know if there's a death counter in this there's game. There's a death counter that? in the game. Is oh, there? nice. Where is it? I don't see it. Uh, you have to go into the options, I think, to see it. Oh, okay, I'll turn it on after we're done. I like it because it, sometimes it makes you feel better about how well you did, but other times it's a little humbling. Uh, I think because I, I don't know how I got over that, so this well, is going to yeah. be fun getting back. Oh, come on, oh, come on you got this. Oh, so close. <laughs> All right, if chat has suggestions, I'll take suggestions on this level. All right, chat. So this is for Cell, who's on the right-hand screen. If you have any suggestions, hit us up. Oh, ow. Yeah, I got to take it slow. Come on. Uh, later? Oh, ow. Too close. Ooh, okay. Well, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. It's a matter of doing it. Okay, <gasps> so you can see There! Chat, yeah? I see. Thank you, chat. Okay, good. I love you, <laughs> chat. Can we get five more points to chat for their hey. lovely help? I think Beautiful. we can do it. Five more points to chat. Puts us at 10 ah, distributed okay. points for each chat member. Ooh, a tea break. I love that. So I, I was uh, telling our runners before that I am um, currently drinking a peppermint, ginger, and fennel tea right now. Um, if anyone has any strong opinions about good tea flavors, hit me up. I'd love to know. Um, uh, I that hate same, passion. That's my That opinion. same brand of um, tea has a fantastic one uh, that is uh, ginger and peach. And it's yes. so refreshing when it's hot out. Oh, so good. Mm. Fellow Canadians here, uh, so we have the President's Choice brand. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. My opinion on tea is that I don't like it. I, I'm, more, <gasps> I'm much more of a coffee person. This is, this is Osborne's oh. age showing, though. He, he is baby, so it is fine. He will develop this proper palate. As he matures, Ooh, so I am so oh, now I'm, I'm stuck at a crossroads. Now I was gonna give, uh, I was gonna take away points for Oz saying no to tea, but then he said, "But coffee," and I love coffee. So now I'm, I'm really, I'm at a loss. Chad, it's up to you. I, I love coffee, but I'm really disappointed that Oz doesn't like tea. So, so what do we do, Chad? What do we do? I mean, we could call it even for you not being a dog person, because I, well, this is a true story. I once sent Lana a picture of like. <laughs> like a six week old puppy that I oh, got no. the other day. And she was just like, oh, well, they're, they're cute. But I'm like, I'm not really that much of a dog person. I'm just like, any response that isn't overwhelming joy is incorrect. Cats are definitely superior. Not gonna lie, There's... cats. Okay, I'm gonna just stop streaming right now. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> oh, cut out the stream. Forfeit. Are you gonna forfeit the bad chaws? <laughs> I'm going to forfeit right now. <laughs> I can't be in this call anymore. <laughs> Cats are superior. Okay, um, well, you can be wrong in peace. Um, I mean, I love cats. Third so grudge. Cats. Yes, chat. I love it. Third grudge. Okay, so double points for coffee and hating tea. Interesting. So what I'll do is uh, I think I'm going to award some points, but I'm only awarding five points because Oz insisted on calling me out about my... Um, how I feel about dogs live on Hotfix. So we're only yes. going to give five points for that one. But fair, uh, I'll fair. give it a net, a net positive. Oh, I'm <laughs> at a level without any swinging blades of any form. Ooh. I am so happy. I could cry. I'm actually tearing up right now. <laughs> no! I'm so close. I missed the jump. 
Oh, that's oh, sad. That was beautiful. It's almost strange to come into a level when there's nothing spinning directly at you. It's cute. Okay. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice uh, relaxation point, you know. Ooh, I was so close to getting killed by those blades there. Oh no, there's blades again. Okay, perfect. I can finish the level. Sad. Okay. Oh, sadness. Is this the whole With level? the third grudge be a die. team match of Selkuth and Lana against Oz? <laughs> hey, I am oh, down. No. I am down. Uh, Persentia, this is an idea for you. Two a versus two one. A 2v1 grudge yeah. match? Is that even Osborne a thing is, that Rose Osborne is Osborne is overpowered. We need we need to we need to have some balancing against him. <laughs> OP, please nerf. Ooh, wait. <sighs> Interesting. Okay. All right, so we've got Oz platforming through world three here. What would you say out of the first three worlds, Oz, which one has been your favorite so far? Worlds, world three, honestly. Like, I think world okay. three is like showing like really cool mechanics, really cool uh, um, rooms in ways that like you just haven't seen before. And I think that that's a lot of fun. Uh, Ooh, wait. There we go. Um, and it's just expanding on the mechanics that you saw in the previous ones. And also, there there's an increase in difficulty spike, of course. And I'm a sucker for a challenge, so. Love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, I we, think, yeah. We... Also, I like the winter vibe of this level. So. Yeah. Oh, is it okay. winter world? Oh, I am excited to get there world. as a Canadian. <laughs> I mean, have you gone to the to the like the desert theme? No, world? I'm still I mean, I'm still stuck in World One. Okay. So I know World. I mean, I mean, I don't know if World Two is explicitly desert, but it has like that desert vibe to it, or there's a desert aesthetic. Mm hmm. Kind of that reddish color palette. Yeah, exactly. Can the runners Ooh. redeem these points for? Disaster events. How do you mean? Uh, unfortunately, the points, uh, as I said in chat, they absolutely matter. Um, absolutely being the key word here. Um, no, we, we just give and take points as we feel. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Okay. Okay. Is this just climbing? Oh, I see what the challenge is. You have to, like... What do you mean? Okay, so usually for this person, I would like... Okay, can I move to like... I'm going to change the keyboard mouse for this. Because I need more precision. I honestly don't even know what the controls are on keyboard, so... It's wazzed. Ah, uh, gotcha. Ooh, that's a good question. Are the world seasons? So red would have been fall. Uh, Maybe. So, ooh. That's, oh, we'll that's see. actually a good question. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, okay, come on. Like, Maybe we're learning more about the story as we go along in this in this preview of the game, our first time playthrough of this game. Actually, that makes more sense. I think it is more autumn, right? Like, I think... Maybe I'm misremembering. Or maybe I'm just mixing yeah. up my... We'll, we'll have to see when Cell gets back to World 2 because, yeah, World 1 here, what I'm seeing is a, it's a oh. lot of green and um, it gives maybe Ooh, summery huh. sort of vibes. All right, come on. All right, I am desperately... I'm putting down my controller because I desperately need more precision than this. <laughs> or is, is this summer? Is World 1 summer and we'll get spring at the end? Yeah, that was Perhaps. kind of my... I mean, but there has to be more than four worlds, right? Can someone go on howlongtobeat.com and see how long it takes to beat this game? Like, there's no way I can complete this within this grudge match setting, right? You might. So. I wonder if that would be an accomplishment. Oh, As, sorry, chat. I, I, mean, I, I believe don't... you all have good questions. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. No, no, no. Rude. Rude wind bullying me off the edge. Okay, 
Okay, I Main just want to shout out hours. that I, I googled uh, right game story and the first thing I get is right is a high speed precision game with no story behind it. So uh, mm. I guess find your own meaning. <laughs> no story behind it. Apparently. I mean, I, it's just pure fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I vibe. will give it that. It is quite fun. It is really fun. I mean, I'm having the time of my life over here, really. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, this is an interesting Ooh. one. Yeah, it is oh, very interesting I've... to see the, the challenges get a little more intense with each Oh, no, I screwed up. I screwed up mm -hmm. immensely. I'm supposed to be in front of the blades. <laughs> Not behind them. Oh, come on. Okay, I missed up my jumps. I should have just... Why is the key down there? Ooh. That is a very oh. rude place for the key to be game. I mean, what is this place that we're even in? Let's, you know, like, where, why are, why are all the keys doing what they're doing? You know what I mean? Why are true. all the keys anywhere? I mean, the, why are we here? True. Uh, we could also ask, how are the keys doing? You know, that is a, always how a good question. How are they everyone doing? Asks where, everyone asks, where are the keys, but not how are the keys? Oh. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, oh, okay, I was very close to being detrimentally awful. Okay, so we're Ooh, looking at a typical yes. runtime, yeah, between two and a half to six hours, with six being more on the completionist side of things. Okay. Oh, okay, and we're definitely not going to complete that today. <laughs> we'll Although, have, have been after, cool. for another after stream match. <laughs> there we Oh, I'm also just now seeing it seems each screen has a different um, name in the bottom right corner. I'm yes. just noticing this. Every level has a name. It's like the one I was stuck on for quite a while with the three blades was called Blade Runner, which I approved of because that Amazing. is the best movie <laughs> of all time. Ooh, is it? Okay. Why? Why is that? I feel like, why do I feel like it's out of character for you? What? Blade Runner. Oh, yeah. This surprises people about me. Blade Runner is absolutely my favorite movie of all time. Yeah, I was just like, I didn't expect, it I don't know, I didn't expect it. It terrified like me the first time I watched it, uh, which was funny enough, in a film class in first year university, I was literally terrified watching it. But it's so good. How can you, how can you not? It's a story about what makes us human and about respect for others. Oh. And also the tears in the rain scene, like, mm, masterpiece of cinema. Fair. Also, the book it's based on is really good. Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. Do you recommend? It's not a very long read. Oh, come on. I'm also just shouting this? out that we have come up to our three-quarter mark now, so... Oh, it's already um, been 45 minutes? Okay. Yes. <laughs> My goal is to reach World 2. Awesome. We believe in you, Cell. More motivation points. Ten more motivation points for Cell. Please and thank you. We believe. Hey, there we go. Ooh, come on. I feel like there has to be a way for me to do this. Okay, so then I need to land on that. Yep, yeah, please don't phase me through. Thank you. <gasps> yeah, this screen that Oz is on is so terrifying. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. There Ooh, we go. nice. Okay, interesting. Um... I am glad that Chad is agreeing with me that the book is great. I've never read it myself, but I'll, I'll put it on my list. You've convinced it's me. It's not a very big book at all. It's okay. less than 100 pages, if I'm reading correctly. Like, oh, oh wow. goodness. I haven't read in so long, but that's honestly a uh, Gen Z gifted kid burnout for you, so. <laughs> uh, uh, although I have been meaning to get into Discworld. I heard that's really good. Oh, this room looks like loads of fun. <laughs> oh. Okay. How do I sync this correctly? 
Oh, if you've never seen Blade Runner, you are missing out. The soundtrack is, again, 10 out of 10. The visuals, the aesthetic, very good. Uh, it's got tough, tough themes in it. Um, do not watch it with children. Well, do not recommend it. But it's so good. Ooh, well, well, eyes. Heck yeah. Dang, can we get the world? I'm gonna. My goal is to get the world five before this. Before we end here. Amazing! You've got it just over happen. ten minutes. We believe. <laughs> Come on! I don't think it's gonna happen at this rate. I think world four is probably gonna be really difficult. Oh, almost. Yeah. Let's see. How many worlds do we have here? Well, I like the music five. in this game. Five. <gasps> what? Ain't no, Wait. no. There's oh, no way. Actually, sorry. I have bad news for you, Oz. What? Remember what I said earlier about the coins? The coins? Yeah. Do you need them? Yeah. The coins probably. unlock the fifth level, is what I'm reading. What? All of them? Yeah. Every, Every start speed wow, on it, Oz. Okay. You can do it. Dang. Well, we would, we would have been here for so much longer if... If... Oh, okay. So... Oh, okay. So you... So those 32 challenge levels, that is World 5, okay. That's what I'm reading, yes. Yeah. So it seems that the four worlds are called Right of the Forest, Right of the Desert, Right of the Tundra, and Right of the Mountain. And then there's a bonus world accessed oh, by collecting no. all of the coins in the other levels, bringing the total level count to 160. Okay. I mean, do we count beating World 4 as beating the game, or does not? Nah, I don't think so, right? No. I think you have to get all of them, right? I mean, I guess we'll see if credits roll, hey? Yeah. Is it like a fair? Is it like a Celeste farewell kind of thing, or is it like where you have to get all like the crystal hearts to like go beat the game, or I'm is it? Sure. Yeah. No. That's a, that's. A thing. I don't know. We're not going to get to World Five. I can I can guarantee <laughs> you that we're we're dying too much. Um. This this World Four is pretty difficult. Huh? Yeah, no, we are seeing some other people sure. comparing it to Super Meat Boy, which we we heard a bit earlier as well. Kind of that. Why did I not yeah, think of that sooner? Hey, hey, World Two, so, woo! World Two, yeah. so. World Two. And that was your goal. So no matter what, we'll call that a goal. A goal well met. Except we have more of these platforms. I hate these platforms. You also get a lot of a lot more axes and blades in World Two. I will say. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm seeing that. I'm not sure how I feel about this. The music has changed. Oh, the music in this world is good. Oh come on. All right, 10 minutes remain in your match. Okay, perfect. So you're doing amazing. Oh my god, uh, oh, I'm having a panic attack just looking at this, my goodness. Um, you can do it, Oz. I believe in you. This level is triggering my fight or flight response. <laughs> this whole game is triggered by fight or flight response. <laughs> Oof, okay. It is okay. super challenging from what we can see. It's, it's, it seems as the worlds go on, there's just more and more obstacles and more precision. You know, I'm not mad though. Ooh. The soundtrack for this world is so good. I am not mad about being stuck here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the music in this game is beautiful. That's one of the best things. Okay, controversial opinion: a game your speed run needs to have good music. Oh, I'm a, I'm, I'm an idiot. I went all the way to the end thinking that the door was there, but the door is back at the beginning. I just collected all the coins for fun, um, <laughs> as a treat, for no reason. Oh, oh yeah, so, so chat's wondering what the points mean. I'll, I'll show you exactly what they mean. I promise they mean a lot. Um, okay, so can I give Oz five points for um, e existing? Yay. Existing? Yeah. I, I would like points for existing. That feels very, very affirming. They mean a Thank lot, you. I promise. And equally, five points to sell, also existing. Well, thank you. And then we just assign more points based on absolutely, definitely, totally reasonable things. Uh, we were adding and taking away points previously based on people's food opinions, um, on their their thoughts on on different retro PC games. 
<laughs> I mean, I think five points for existing, that's like, that's a, that's a pretty reasonable exchange, right? I think so. I think so. Mm hmm. Bit of a bargain, I could bring it up to 10. <laughs> Fine. Now, the question is can we give tech points too? If we've given chat points. Can we give Ray points? Ooh. Can we give Ray points? Ooh. Ray is lovely and fantastic. Can we give them points too? I, I, I think we might be able to actually. Okay. <laughs> we can give them points too. Do we have points. enough room on? Do we have enough room on screen to just plot points in there somewhere? Points <laughs> We're for, just gonna cover. You know, points for Lana for being an excellent guest host. Oh. You know, we keep adding points, but I'm pretty sure Ray is the one that's putting them on screen. Um, <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> if anything, that's just their job <laughs> to see if they can get points themselves. I, I do like this. The points are used to purchase Brosentia's favor. Yes, they they are surrendered as an offering to Brosentia himself. Um, I'm I'm just going to be the the passer honor of of points today, I suppose. <laughs> but yes, you. you can purchase his favor Fine. and earn uh, future grudge matches, <laughs> something like that. Exchange them for goods and services. The services being more appearances on Grudge Match. Um. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good one. The amount of favor you have with Brosentia determines the game that you play on on Grudge Match. We must have really high points then, because he let us pick our own game. Yeah, <laughs> he did. I mean, I would hope that I have high points of favor with Brosentia. This is the third time I've, on, I've been on this show. So I assume he likes having me on. But you also just have a million so. and one grudges, Oz. You're right. I have a hit list, and it's not done yet. Ooh, uh-oh. <laughs> Careful, Lana, or else you're going to get on it, you know? Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, fun fact, I'm actually, I am, I, I admit this with all the love in my heart for myself. I am a horrible gamer. Like, just um, when it comes to natural gaming ability, nah, my brother got all of it. He's the one that can pick up a game and be really good at it immediately. Nah, I I gotta work at it. <laughs> you would 100% beat me in our grudge match. Oh, so close to the end. I jumped too early. I am feeling very oh, no. negative things towards these purple spiky plants. Yeah, right? I love the color purple, They're as like... you can probably testify, uh, you know, from my uh, very purple uh, VTuber and background. Uh, but no, purple spikes, nope, not not a fan. Oh, how am I supposed to do this room? This looks fun. Um, we've lost the floor and ceiling in oh. favor of of spinny axes or what oh my god what those? Oh, 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 oh oh this is good <laughs> oh yeah we're definitely my not gonna get no to finish, this point. my goal is to finish this level in the next five minutes Ooh, uh, oh and then i have to get to the door Oh, uh, come on. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Ooh, but we almost have it. You can no! do it, Oz. Ah! No! Oh, come on. I'm trying to be too oh, fast. I'm oh, trying to be too oh, fast. Oh, oh, this is good. <laughs> Remember that thing where you try to be too quick and then just screws you over in the end? I was attempting to be too fast in a casual playthrough. I am oh. shocked and astonished. Hedge Maze 2? When was Hedge Maze 1? Was there a Hedge Maze 1? I mean, I'm sure there was a level named Hedge Maze 1, but I don't remember it, clearly.
Ooh, come on. No! You silly spike. I have spike. enough time to finish this. No. We'll have to go back and find Hedge Maze 1 now. I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. We'll do that after the match. Ooh, come on. I want to... I, come on, we can finish this level before time runs out. Soundtrack is so good, it's distracting me. Honestly, I think that's one of the the essential things that you need oh. for these precision platformers. Because Celeste is sort of the same way, where it's like, even though you might be stuck in a room forever, the music is just so good that it doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. It's just so lovely. I want to see some of this music in a rhythm game. I may uh, go looking up custom tracks for spin rhythm. All right, beautiful. Come on. We only have so much time left. We can do this. We can get through it. Oh, we're not going to get through I believe in you, Oz. I believe in you. <laughs> Maybe, how much time do you have left on the timer line? A uh, minute and a half. Minute and a half. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, fine. We can at least finish the level. It's giving me every, no, it's giving me every type of blade we've ever occurred before. It's giving me all the blades at once. Chat, give Oz your room. energy. Okay, he can sense. do it. He needs your energy this chat. This level is called exam room and very well. So many, so many blades. Come on. Oh, now I gotta get to, now I gotta get to the, uh, now I gotta get to the door. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it unless we're not gonna make it though. Oh. I had my chance. I think I screwed. It's just, I just gonna get screwed it up. I believe in you, Oz. Come you on. can do it. No, there's not. There's not enough time. <laughs> there's not enough time. There's always enough time if you believe in yourself, Oz. I That's have faith in you. Week. Oh, oh, maybe? Question mark? No, I moved too quick. No, there's definitely not enough time now. Never give up, Oz. You can do it. I believe in you. I have faith. Come on. There's no way I finished this level. We have already died twice now. And we did. We have, this is a long one, so there's no way I finished it with any time limits. And yeah. time. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Done. I died just as it goes on. I mean, I'll still keep going, but you know, obviously the rest doesn't count. <laughs> that is a okay. All right. So from what we see, we have Oz who made it to World Four and Cell who made it to World Two. So congratulations, Oz. You seem to be the winner of our grudge match for today. Catch us up a little bit. How did you feel about this uh, this first playthrough uh, in general? I'd like your your opinions on it. I love this game so much. Um, mm -hmm. Locked. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. I see, I see, yeah. I could have seen this at the beginning of the menu, actually. Maybe I could have, could have seen it from the beginning. I mean, but that means we, we probably would have only gone to, like, World 3 max, right? Mm -hmm. If I ended up collecting all of the coins. All right, hmm. so generally, what would you say, like, what did you love, what did you find super challenging of this first attempt? This first, I mean, I loved how the game just got harder and harder as we progressed, you know? Um, and I think that this is... A very addicting game. I see myself. I mean, I I don't want to. I don't want. I mean, I say this with like every game, right? We got, but I see myself potentially wanting to speedrun this in the future, only because like it's just the movement so fluid, and mm -hmm. um, it's one of those games where it's just like. I mean, I, I suppose like just being, just trying to get better and better at it is, uh, in a casual sense, even that's just like gets you closer to speedrunning it because. Um, just of how the game works and the game like times your levels too it gives us incentives for speed running and so i think that this game is a lot of fun i'm 1000 percent gonna finish it probably you know torture myself and try to get all the coins and then unlock the final level um and i you know if i had gone to if i had gone to the end of world four that would have been great especially because the last level in world four is literally called right i saw 
Um, and so I think I'm really happy with what we did today. And this game is great, y'all. If you have the bundle for Ukraine or the racial justice, racial justice bundle, um, I highly recommend getting it out and or just buying it. I don't know how much it costs on Steam. I don't um, think it's very expensive. Let me see. Um, I don't think I'm it's a very sure expensive like, game at all. Yeah, I write on Steam. I look it up right here. Uh, it's Plus forty. It's five dollars. Should... It's five dollars, oh, yeah. guys. It's Ooh, five dude, it's dollars. Great, like you should go get it. It's <laughs> great, and that's not even on sale. That's the base price. Heck yeah! yeah. It's great. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, that's and good. and Sel, what would you say of your experience so far, just with this game in general? The music is beautiful. I'm reminded of why I don't play precision platformers and how much I just generally don't like precision platformers. Um, so that's my bad for putting it in the suggested pile list. Um, but beautiful game. I'm glad Osborne enjoyed it. I was enjoying his enjoyment. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and how do we feel about our grudge now that uh, we have, uh, I guess, fixed our tie from the previous grudge match? How, how are we feeling? I think we discovered I mean, about three new grudges, actually. Yeah, we'll always find a reason to, 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 to have another grudge, so, you know. But I got to yeah. go through my hit list first. <laughs> awesome. And uh, We're final thoughts to the from... the line. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now just, yeah, final, final thoughts from you both. Little shout-outs. Uh, where can we find you, Oz? Let us know. Me? Um, well, I occasionally stream on twitch.tv slash Osmorn. Um, if you go to most speedrunning marathons and you look at the schedule, I might have a run um, mm -hmm. because I am just a fanatic. Um, and the things that I want to shout out are, of course, Cell for um, for wanting to do this again, Brucentia for having us on relatively last minute, too, um, and for letting us pick this game, um, a game that I've been meaning to play for quite some time, and I'm very glad that I did here. Um, and... Shoutouts to um, an event coming up that I'm uh, participating in known as Multithon. I know that uh, the people in this call have uh, been we've been kind of active in that server in that community as well. Um, and so I highly recommend checking that out and uh, checking out some of the stuff that I uh, do and participate in. Those are the main two things, just my own stream and then Multithon is the one of them. Uh, really interested in right now so uh, that's that's it for me that's it for my shout outs uh, so yeah so you can find me on twitch at selkuthmind I currently stream kind of irregularly depending on whether health and work school status um you can also find me on YouTube at the Selkuth Mind. Uh, I've got a little bit more content going out there regularly uh, I will also be day one of Flame Fatales I will be showcasing Cook, serve, delicious on extreme difficulty, seeing how fast I can serve 1,000 customers. If you want to come see a run where fingers are going to be flying, because it's a typing game, so I'm going to be typing faster than you've maybe seen. Uh, I probably should buy a fire extinguisher to put beside my keyboard just in case. Um, so yeah, August 13th, first day of Flame Fatales. You can check the schedule, you can find my run there. Uh, and as well, I also want to shout out Oz for being a lovely friend. A lovely speedrunning partner, both racing and co-op, and just yeah, all the great stuff too, with uh, Preventathon, which is a marathon that we founded together. So I appreciate your all your help, and I love you. Yes, you're a good friend. Love you too. Yes, you're a good uh, friend. <laughs> well, thank you so much to you both for joining us for our second grudge match of the day, and for your just yet another grudge match appearance as well um we've had a wonderful show today with all of you here in chat as well but uh don't go anywhere the night is still going uh just a reminder as well as Cell had mentioned we do have flame fatales coming up starting august 13th until 20th and make sure to check out that schedule at gamesdonequick.com slash schedule to see all of the amazing runs we have coming up you can do that on the break that is going to be coming up right away um, so make sure to stay tuned. We are done grudge match for today. My name has been Lana Roos and I've been covering for Brosentia while he's away on vacation, but he'll be back in the next couple weeks. And uh, after this, we have Parallel Universe. It's a show about fan games and mods, and it'll be featuring Celeste custom level packs. 
which is going to be absolutely incredible. So stay tuned, everybody. Enjoy a little break, and we'll catch you right after this for more Hotfix and Parallel Universe. Take care.